In a recent video, I had a comment about making bevel cuts on the table saw, and bevel cuts can be tricky. The thing to remember about them is that whatever way your blade tilts, mine tilts to the right, your fence should be on the other side of it so that wood won't get trapped between the fence and the blade. When the blade tips over like that, you're creating kind of a triangular space or a trapezoidal space that can wedge the piece in there really well if the blade lifts it up at the back. What happens is as the blade spins up from the back, it pulls up on the piece back there and it being wedge shaped, it can really jam in there pretty tight. And when it does, it has to come out the front at a high velocity usually. So good to have a fence system that you can move to both sides of the blade. Right now I'm making a cut on this piece of maple here that's five degrees and I'll make my cut safely so that it doesn't get jammed between the fence and the blade. As you can see from that example right there, often the thing can actually kick back more violently or grab hold more aggressively as the blade is spinning down. So that's what you got to watch for. If you find yourself in that situation where you've made a mistake and made a cut like that and have a piece sitting there and you, it hasn't kicked back yet and you need to stop the saw, stop the saw, stand back and wait until the blade comes to a stop. Otherwise, you could get a big surprise. Sharon? Yeah? How do you not blow your brains out being married to him? Excuse me? Shall I repeat the question? Yes. You're a guest in our house. A very honest one. <laughs>